it was enjoyable in a very particular way to be in the coffee shop this morning and just see people trying to process what was <laughs> happening. Yeah. Yeah. High school and college drama series are always the best kind of series to watch because of the crazy stories they tell, the twists and turns, the emotions that make the drama even spicier. Dawson's Creek comes packed with all of these and even more. It tells the story of a close-knit group of friends and their journey through high school to college and beyond. Airing from 1998 to 2003, Dawson Creek was the show of the century. It's been 17 years since the series ended, and the actors, most of whom were teens at the time, are now adults in relationships, some even married with children. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the lives of these actors and what they've been up to for the past 17 years. Make sure you watch till the end. You'll be shocked at what these actors have been doing. If you're new here, this is a good time to hit the subscribe button and become a member of this YouTube family. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Nina Rapetta Nina was cast as Bessie Potter, the loving and kind big sister that everyone wishes for. So tell me everything. We got a new principal. Not about school, about Dawson. I mean, if all sisters could be like Bess, the world would surely be a better place. No, I'm not saying bad sisters are the cause of the state of the world, but you get the point. Did you know that Nina Rapetta attended college with the creator of Dawson Creek, Kevin Williamson? The pair met at East Carolina University and formed a relationship that helped her career significantly. She is known for her roles in other series like CI5, The New Professionals, in 1999, and Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood in 2002. Her most recent role was as Nancy in Murder Biz in 2011. Now 53, she is married to Mike Rapetta, and they have a child together. Mary Margaret Humes Humes was cast as Gail Leary. Your mother and I were... Um, just discussing whether or not... Well, we needed a new coffee table. Dawson's charming mother, who won everybody's heart with her amazing smile, well, until she cheated on Dawson's dad. They did get back together, though, and their love became stronger than ever, but we would never forget. Humes has always been known for her beauty and was even named Miss Florida in 1974. Before Dawson's Creek, she had made a name for herself in mainstream television and was one of the most sought-after actresses. After the series, she starred in other popular series like CSI New York. One more stop, then we get a bite to eat. Yeah, and this office is the last stop. No! Grey's Anatomy and Criminal Minds. Her most recent role is as Alicia Simmons in the 2020 film A Valentine's Match. She has been married to Raul Bruce since 1992. Mary Beth Peel Peel was portrayed as the all-knowing Evelyn Ryan, whom everybody called Grams. And although nobody wanted to admit it, Grams actually gave good advice and somehow knew what was best for everyone. Peel was the only actor to get the main role throughout the film, aside from the teens. Well, what do you expect? The woman was already enjoying a successful career before Dawson's Creep came by, and it didn't slow down, even after the series ended. She went on to star in classics like Law & Order Special Victims Unit, The Good Wife, and her most recent, Katie Keene, where she played the role of Loretta Lacey. She also maintains a robust theater career and has appeared in several productions too. In her recent times, she has won the Obie Award and has been nominated for several other awards like a Daytime Emmy Award, two Outer Critics Circle Awards, and two Tony Awards. Joshua Jackson Jackson was cast as Pacey Witter. You don't have to worry, Joe. You're gonna make it out of here. You're gonna go to some great school and send me postcards back here. I'll be ten in bar pumping gas. A 15-year-old boy known for his bidding sarcasm, which was quite annoying actually. He had some emotionally abusive parents and always tried to maintain his distance, but this didn't stop them from labeling him the black sheep of the family. He later fell in love with Joey, even though they were always bickering at each other. At the end of the series, Pacey ends up a chef with his own restaurant and still involved with Joey romantically. Shortly after the series ended, Jackson landed roles in Americano, Shadows in the Sun, and Aurora Borealis. He moved to the UK in 2005 and started a career in theater productions, making his debut in the two-man play A Life in the Theater. He played the lead role in Fringe, the second highest rated news show in 2008, and was ranked on Buddy TV's list of TV's 100 Sexiest Men in 2010, 2011, and 2012. He is in a relationship with Jody Turner-Smith, and together they have one child. James Vanderbeek James was cast as Dawson Wade Leary, the only child of Mitch and Gary Leary, and the main character in the series. Whoa, Joe, don't hit and run. Come on, explain yourself. He is best friends with Joey Potter, 
Pacey Witter, and Jen Lindley, and is also known for his optimistic views. He had several fallouts with Pacey, and at the end of the series, they weren't even friends anymore. Vanderbeek has enjoyed a blistering career since the end of the series and starred in Varsity Blues in 1999, for which he won the MTV Movie Award for the role. He has starred in other popular series like Law & Order Special Victims Unit, CSI Cyber, and Modern Family. He currently lives in Texas with his wife, Kimberly Brooke, and their five children. In October 2017, he revealed that he's been sexually harassed by several men in Hollywood, especially movie producer Harvey Weinstein. This has led to a chain reaction and now several Hollywood actors have started revealing their encounters with the men in the industry who abuse them. Yikes. Vanderbeek is now 43 years old. His most recent roles have been in Downsizing in 2017, Jay and Silent Bob reboot in 2018, and in 2020, he was cast as Grant in the movie Bad Hair. In 2019, he competed as one of the celebrities in season 28 of Dancing with the Stars. He was eliminated in the semifinal, finishing in fifth place. Katie Holmes Holmes was cast as Josephine Lynn Potter, one of Dawson's best friends and Pacey's love interest. She lived with Bessie, her older sister, Bessie's son, Alexander, and her boyfriend, Bodie. At the end of the series, she ended up as a junior book editor in New York City. Holmes was shot to fame after her role in Dawson's Creek, which brought her a nearly endless stream of roles in high-budget films, like The Singing Detective. High temperature again. Did you move her lips? She looked dry. Batman Begins. Bruce? Rachel? And her most recent, Coda in 2019. She has been named on several lists including the People's 50 Most Beautiful People in 2003 and 25 Hottest Stars Under 25 in 2003 and 2005. She got married to Tom Cruise in 2006 and divorced the film star six years later. She is the mother of Surrey Cruise who was born in April 2006. Most recently, you might have seen her playing the part of Miranda Wells in the 2020 Netflix movie The Secret Dare to Dream. In this role, she plays a broke mother who recently lost her husband. At the age of 41, she certainly doesn't look her age. Please tell us your secret, Katie. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and stick around for some more amazing content. See you soon.